Okay, so I recently got a question if it's possible to create a soft shadow effect inside Microsoft Office. And since you can already see my PowerPoint window, you can judge it by yourself. Does it look like a soft shadow effect? You know, please let me know in the comments. So what's the point of soft shadow? Here we have a normal kind of looking shadow, which is, I guess, fine. It looks perfectly fine, but it feels like there is this flat text floating or hovering above the surface. Whereas the point of soft shadow, it is that it should look like a 3D text. But since we are looking at the text from the front view, you don't actually see the sides, you don't see the extrusion, so the only way how to feel the 3Dness of the text is from the shadow itself. So the shadow is very strong when it's close to the text, and it's gradually going, getting more and more blurred and transparent when it's away from the text, and also the shadow in itself is much bigger compared to like a normal kind of shadow. I have a few more examples like this smaller text and some, you know, shapes but that should be enough for you to understand what we are going to create today. So let's get started. Let's jump into the new blank presentation. And the first thing is I want to change the background color for the slide. So I will jump into the design and open the format background and maybe change this to some dark or light gray color, maybe like this one. I will close this one and I will draw a new shape. So I will in select insert shapes and I will select around the rectangle, which is this one. And I will draw this with the shift key being pressed on my keyboard, so it's not a rectangle but a an rounded square instead, like so. Then I will right click and select the format shape, so I can again see this you know, format shape pane on the right side. And I want this to be, have no outline and maybe white fill, so I will set the fill to be white, just so there is a contrast between the shape, the background and the drop shadow effect. So how do you do, how do you add a drop shadow effect? You set, you keep the format shape pane opened, jump into the effects, and there is this shadow where I can select one of those presets, and I think that this first one, or I mean the second one, which is called offset bottom right, is a perfect start. So what we want to have is some kind of very strong shadow, so almost no transparency, very little blur, and a very small distance, going into the very blurred one, so blurred shadow, which is um, you know, away from the shape and maybe with more transparency. We want to somehow blend between those two kind of effects, but that's actually not possible in PowerPoint. So the only way how to do this is to have multiple shadows stacked on top of each other. But they cannot have multiple shadows for one object, so we have to actually stack multiple objects with different kind of shadows to get this soft shadow effect look. So let's get started. I will set the transparency to maybe around 50%, and I will start with the shadow which is very strong, so the size, uh, sorry, the blurriness will be almost no blurriness, like maybe, I, I don't know, like six points, and it will be very close to the shape itself, maybe like so. Then I will copy paste this shape one more time, and I can do this by hitting Ctrl C and Ctrl V on my keyboard, or in the home ribbon, there is actually even like a duplicate function, so I can duplicate this or hitting Ctrl D. I will move this to the same position, and it's very easy with the guidelines, like, like so. And I want to gradually increase the blurriness, so increase the blur, and also the distance. So also increase the distance a little bit, like so, and I will just copy paste it one more time. And again, increase the blurriness, increase the distance, and I'll do this a few more times. So more, more blur, more distance, and one more time, maybe even more blurriness, even more distance, like so. And maybe I can do it one more time. So blurriness around, I don't know, 70 and distance around, I don't know, 100 and something like so. And I get a very nice looking soft shadow effect right away. So that's it. That's how you create a soft shadow effect. Now, a few more important details. If I want to change the, for example, the transparency, so I'll jump into the shadow effect and change the transparency, I cannot ever select everything and change it from here. So because if I do so, if I change the transparency to maybe like 20, you will see that everything will change to the same value, which is not what I want. So I will undo this operation. And I have to change the transparency one effect after the editor. So I have to select one symbol or sorry, one shape after another. So I have to go to the home ribbon, open the select and selection pane. And here I can see all my rectangles, so I can maybe hide those so you can see the difference. And I have to select one by one and change the transparency. So maybe I don't want this to be that strong, so I'll increase the transparency to maybe like 60. And I will do this for all the individual you know, objects. So increase to 60 for all of those. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but not that much. And we have an effect which is a little bit more faded. Another thing is a lot of times, I mean, 
almost every every time the shadow is usually not black there is a little bit of tint in the shadow which makes it look more natural so what we can do is we can change the color as well and maybe before changing color let's change the whole theme of our presentation so we have access to more fun or exciting colors compared to those so i will jump into design and i will maybe open you know the variants which is in here and there is this colors and i can select from one of those predefined office palettes so maybe i'll choose this uh, blue green which kind of looks nice and let's change the background to some maybe this blue this looks fine so what we want to do is it's add a little bit of tint into the shape or uh, sorry into the shadow color so i will select the first one i will open the shadow properties being the color and instead of uh, choosing from those colors i will select the more colors drop down menu and change it from the custom view so uh, this is the color which is being very saturated and this is the color which is being not saturated at all so this is uh, basically everything is without any color so we want this to be just a little bit saturated so we will just move this crosshair a little bit more to the top and around those those blue colors so we want a little bit of blue to be in here but because the lightness value is all the way to the bottom we still get you know a pure black color so we want to move this also a little bit more to the top so we have a little bit of tint of color and you can see down here and i'm not quite sure how much visible it will be for the video there is a little bit of blue tint and maybe i can even make it more obvious like so but i think that's fine we uh, no color like this is fine for for the shadow itself so let's just pick this color and i will do this for all the other all the other shadows so it's in the recent colors i don't have to choose the color every time i want to change it and like so you know there is a little bit of difference maybe i should have you know copied this uh, this slide one more time so you can see the difference but you have to trust me that if you add a little bit of tint into the shadow it will look a little bit better the other thing which i added for my previous uh, presentation or you know powerpoint presentation is i have a little, little bit of glow effect so i'll copy paste the object one more time so uh, Control c Control v and instead of adding a shadow i will add a little bit of glow from top left uh, side so i will open the shadow properties and i will open and i will set the uh, preset to be left top so offset top left and instead of having this in a black color i will change it to maybe white or some light blue color or maybe this one so you can see it looks like it's it's a little bit of glowing on this edge maybe it's too much maybe i will just increase the blurriness a little bit so maybe blur to like eight and maybe increase the transparency you know it's up to you to get some kind of you know nice looking glow which is not that obvious no i think something around this looks fine maybe maybe a little bit less transparency okay so now we have a nice looking drop shadow effect or soft shadow for this uh, rounded rectangle there is a very easy way how to change this shape to a different one so i can select all my shapes and i will keep the selection pane open so i can see that everything is really selected i can jump into the format and select the edit shape and from here i can select change shape i can change it to rectangle but that's kind of boring i can change it to you know circle if i want and you can see all every time i change it the shadow looks perfectly fine so i don't have to tweak the shadows for changing the shapes so i can even change it to arrow and if i just uh, scale the arrow it still looks fine so that's that's great so we know how to do it for the shape let's try to do the same effect for for text okay so i'll create a new slide and i will get rid of everything and again i will change the background maybe to i don't know this this green one and i'll insert a new text object so insert shapes text box text object text box and i will just type in i don't know hello and i think i was using font unis sans heavy caps and let's increase the size to maybe like 150 make this center aligned and so you know center it inside the slide as well like so now same as previously i would change the text uh, fill color to be white so for text options i will set the fill to be white and i will start adding drop shadows so open the text effects and in the shadow i will select one of those presets being this bottom right again decrease the blurriness to maybe like two points and distance to two points as well i will duplicate it one more time move it to the same spot and increase the blurriness to maybe like four and distance to four as well let's see if this works duplicate it and maybe i don't know eight and 
8 and I can also use sliders but I thought it I will use a keyboard this time but I can also increase the blurriness here and, and move it like so and again more blurriness more distance and one more time more blurriness more distance and just because those shapes for the text are a little bit smaller than our previous shape you can see that we are ending with the blurriness of 36 and it's also almost invisible at this point so I think we are fine around around 40 or so okay so that was very quick let's just try to change the shadow color so I will again open the shadow properties and being the color and I don't see any kind of shadow in here oh because that's because I'm using I'm looking for the shape options I want to look for the text options for the shadow so I want to change the color of the shadow to be somehow green so I will select maybe this green color as a starting point then I will open more colors and I will just uh, make it much more darker and a little bit less saturated by dragging this crosshair down below like so maybe maybe like so okay and I will use the same color for all the shadows for my different text objects like so and it will just blend with the background a little bit more and maybe same as the last time I can just duplicate this and add the glowing effect so for the text options I will select the shadow preset going from top left and change the color to maybe I don't know maybe not yellow but some light green and maybe a little bit more blurry okay I kind of like this effect and increase the transparency so I think that's fine you know the last thing that we can show is how to easily and quickly change the text because I don't want to go into you know each individual text box and change the text from here so I can select uh, Control F to find something and it's actually not working because I have to click your replace and I have want to find of course hello and say instead I don't know bye I will select replace all and hopefully it will work it will make seven replacements because I have seven different text objects in my PowerPoint presentation and everything replaced the soft shadow looks fine and I think we can close here and call it done okay so thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye